Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're going to be taking a look at certain questions you guys have asked me over a period of time that has to do with Twin Motion. And I think this might be like the fourth or the fifth or maybe the seventh installment of the frequently asked questions. You guys can go ahead and check out the other ones where you guys have asked and we've answered a couple of questions that has to do with Twin Motion. So today's own is going to be kind of different, not so different, but let's just get into it. So the very first question is how can i export video with the same uh rate or let's say the same frames per rate because i think a lot of people kind of saw the video tutorial and how you can attach video to your twin motion file and then they kind of had issues with that when they get to export so i'm going to get uh to that and actually show you guys how you can do this so for this example i'm going to go over to the furniture go over to city and advertising and i'm just going to go ahead and bring out this advertising panel so this advertising panel i'm just going to go ahead and select this click here all right let's just go ahead and click on more and from here we can go to open and we're going to go ahead and select the video file that exists here so i showed you guys how you can do this and just in case you don't know how you can do that how you can do this is pretty pretty simple so let's just say you have a video file that exists somewhere right and the video file is supposed to be saved as mp4 so i have this same video file here which is saved as mp4 but in twin motion that file extension is not seen so all you have to do is to start typing the name of this and it's going to pop up so for this i'm just going to type movie so you can now see that i have movie.mp4 if this doesn't show up on your pc then the best thing that you need to do is to copy the name and paste it directly here and then go ahead and click on open and once you click on open you're going to find out that the movie is going to go ahead and play now if you're attaching this to something and the scale is not appropriate so for example let's say the scale that you're working with is not appropriate you can go ahead and change the scale and also you can come to, through more and move these things uh, left and right depending on what you want to get all right so now that we have this another good thing to note is with this movie that we've just added what we need to do is we need to right click go over to properties come over to details and find out how many frames per second this movie is running all right so we need to find out how many frames per second so this says it's running at 24 frames per second and we know twin motion doesn't have uh such frame rate so we can go with the best possible one so meanwhile before we start doing that let me just go ahead and make a couple of shots let's just do that real quick and let's go ahead and play back and see what we have so we have a couple of shots directly in our scene here let's put a bit of a uh, cloud you know and let's see what that's going to look like okay so i'm just going to go in here click on more just put a bit of cloud just to see what it looks like okay, kind of looks good okay so now that you you're ready and you have what you want to work with the best thing you need to do is go over to export click here select the clip which you want go over to more then within this part where you have the file format you can click here and then change the frame rate so if your frame rate is 60 frames per second this video once you render it is going to be super super fast if your frame rate is 30 frames per second it's going to be a bit fast but not as fast as you know 60 frames and the same thing goes for 180 so since we have this at 24 frames per second the best possible one we can use is you know 25 frames per second so once you have this ready all you need to do is select the file format that you want if you want to export as image sequences so yeah you can go over to after effect and compile it later of course you can select png if you want to export it as mpeg so that you can just directly use it of course you can save that as zip and always remember to turn on reflection and turn on maximum lighting especially if you have your reflection probes directly in your scene and with that done all you have to do is go ahead and hit the export button and export this out and this is basically how you can go ahead and you know fix that one so let's talk about the next thing which you guys have asked which has to do with painting grass in a large you know environment so there's a question that has to do with how can you go ahead and paint grass in a large environment since in some other apps just click a button and the grasses are just there especially when you select the material twin motion has a very very flexible way that you can do this and i'm going to go ahead and explain this to you guys but before i do let me just go ahead and answer one simple question that you guys have also asked and that has to do with speed so we've 
already talked about speed earlier in the time so you guys can go ahead and check out the twin motion tutorial you know playlist that we had where we talk about you know how you can drive around your scene so for just uh, a bit of you know clarity what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and just drop in a couple of cars so let me just select this and just drop a couple of cars here and there all right now that's a whole lot of cars okay so i'm just going to drop a couple of cars here and there i'm selecting one of them all right and i'm just going to press f on my keyboard so i can frame in on those so how do you control speed right now twin motion doesn't have a unit of skill which you can use to dial down how slow your camera moves or travels in your scene or maybe dial up how fast it gets to move so how you can move or how you can run around this is by using shift so if you're pressing w on your keyboard which is for you to travel in if you hold down shift it travels way faster all right if you go ahead and hold down shift it travels way faster meanwhile if you hold down alt and press the w key it travels quite slow all right there is a bit of an effect that you're going to find there so alt it travels slow this is the normal speed this is alt this is the normal speed all right let's just go back one more time and this is shift and you can see how fast it travels so you guys can go ahead and try that out so just in case you are one of those you know guys that has sent me a couple of emails asking how do you go ahead and change the speed of your stuff i think this is going to answer your question so let's move on to the next one which has to do with painting grasses in a large environment all right so we have this scene that is open and this scene is uh one of those scenes that i kind of worked on a long time ago so what we have here is a large scene i'm just going to go ahead and play this back so you guys can see and you can tell that it's quite large and there's grasses everywhere so i'm just going to switch it from another point so that you guys can go ahead and also take a look at this so this question is how can you paint things like foliage and grasses on a large scale so this is what we're going to go ahead and take a look at so meanwhile why you want to paint this you need to have a surface all right so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and select this same surface that we have here so this is the surface that you have to work with so i'm going to use a small area around here and the first things which we need to do is to go ahead and isolate this so i'm just going to go ahead and isolate this particular surface so this is the surface i want to work with and this is the surface i'm just going to go ahead and isolate so now that i've isolated this surface i can come through go over to vegetation and pick any brush that i want and paint as much as i want and so just to let you guys know the recent version of twin motion comes with a couple of grasses incredible ones at that so you can play as much as you want with this so i can just go ahead and drag in one and i you know pick something else so i can just drag in this other one so if i click that hold on control click on that hold on control click on that and with my brush right now i can come through and paint effortlessly around my scene all right so i can come through and paint effortlessly around my scene so the more things that you add to your scene the more dense your scene gets and a very good way to check this thing out is to check through the statistics so right now my frame is dropping a little bit more so what i can do just to get me up to speed especially if you're working on something really really dense like this is to come over to quality so i'm actually using ultra you can drop it down a little bit so that i can have some liberty on how you're going to go ahead and paint this so let me just zoom right in just a little bit and then i can go ahead and paint you know without the care in the world if it's going to touch or you know get into the building or not so i think this is also one of those things that a couple of people get to battle with and i guess this might be a bit of help for you guys so if you guys find this very useful please tell me in the comment section i'll be really really excited to know that it's uh you know it's helping someone out there and if you want to make changes to any of these things of course you can make changes to any of them and at the end of the day once you're done you can just simply go ahead like if you make changes to all of this you can go ahead and select them you know together and come back here and you know start making your paintings so i guess this would be quite helpful to a couple of people and now let's talk about the very last one so the last one which we have here is about glowing materials so there is a time which we covered a lot of topics that has to do with materials we've covered how you can create your own customizable materials how you can make materials from scratch how you can play with materials but today we're going to look at glowing materials so it's a question that someone is asking so what in case you're doing a billboard 
and you want the billboard to glow in the night how do you go ahead and fix that or how do you get to you know attach things and make them glow so we are going to go ahead and take a very good look at that but before then let's just simply exit this right now and let's just go ahead and dive right in there and let me just rotate this all around let's take a look at what we've done all right doesn't look that bad now does it okay so you know we can go ahead and paint this ones off later but for the most part doesn't look bad okay so let's go ahead and take a look at how you can add glow to let's say material so i think for this one i should actually stay here and and do that and i'm thinking what uh, model should i throw in that we can use okay so we can throw in a very simple model so i'm going to go ahead and you know bring back the same model which we we're using earlier which has to do with um, the advertising i think so i think i can bring back that advertising stuff maybe i should bring in this panel i don't know but uh, let's see what it looks like so i can bring in this panel and we can rotate it here let's just go ahead and scale this just for fun you know i can just scale this just for fun and that's going to be about it so with this here let me also go ahead and press t on the keyboard or you can go ahead and you know select the eyedropper if you click here you can also change the material if you want to create a brand new material that you can use to replace that you can click in you know throw in this material and it's going to go ahead and replace that so let's just also go ahead and replace this same material for the one that is in front so with this material replaced you can now do whatever you want for the glowing this is how you fix it meanwhile when you want to do glowing stuff it's best for you to actually do them when the night is down because once you do them during the daytime you just don't really see it that much now do you so we're going to go to settings and from settings there is a glow that is here so there's a glow property that is here so what we can do is click on more click here and also go ahead and click on open so if i click on open we have a couple of alphas that we have here so these ones we are actually created from um, affinity so we used affinity to create this one so just in case you want to learn affinity there is actually a video in the channel where we talk about how you can play around affinity for a while and i think you guys can go ahead and check it out it's a nice and amazing program that you can always use so i'm just going to go ahead and click on open and you know we just turn that thing open here i'll go all the way back we cannot see anything because it's actually daytime so i'm just going to make the night fall a little bit and i'm going to go ahead and increase the glow all right so let's go ahead and turn this all the way down you know let's just turn this all the way down and at this point you can now see that this begins to glow let's just look around give it a while yes so you can now see that this uh, begins to glow so if you're one of those uh, asking how you can make your object glow in the dark or let's say you're asking about signboard glowing I, I think this is gonna be a very very good answer for you now does this mean you cannot use the default material of course you can use the default material the only big uh, uh, difference here is that because this is glowing only the parts that you have selected or you've attached to uh, the glow property those are the parts that gets to glow and yeah that is going to be about it i would like to know what you guys think about this if you learned something from this go ahead and hit the like button and also turn on notification and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next update the next frequently asked questions the next videos the next three motion tutorial and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace